code generating large language models are still competing with each other. All of the big shots in generative AI are keep releasing new and novel large language models which are expert in the coding. Google's DeepMind has released AlphaCode 2 five days ago, which is an advanced AI for coding contests, and it has already surpassed 85% of competitors on code forces. Behind the scene, this AlphaCode 2 utilizes Gemini or at, to some extent Gemini Pro for dynamic programming. It excels in complex math and collaborates effectively with human coders. It also gives a clue or hint at future AI-assisted software development tools. Alongside its Gemini generative AI model, Google is really heating up this war with the release of this Alpha Code 2, which is primarily an improved version of the code generating Alpha Code, uh, which Google DeepMind released almost a year ago. And you can see one example on your screen at the same time. Alpha Code 2, as I mentioned earlier, is powered by a variant of Gemini or Gemini Pro, and it has been fine-tuned on coding context data. It is far more capable than its predecessor, and a lot of benchmarks are evident of that. As I mentioned earlier, in a subset of programming competition hosted on Code Forces, which is a platform for programming contest, Alpha Code 2 coding in languages spanning Python, Java, C++, and Go. And in all of those, it performed better than an estimated 85% of competitors, which is huge. So according to Google DeepMind, Alpha Code 2 solves 43% of problems within 10 attempts, close to twice as many problems as the original Alpha Code, which was around 25%. Alpha Code 2 can also understand programming challenges involving complex math and theoretical computer science, and it can also deal with reasonably sophisticated techniques. Alpha Code 2 is capable of dynamic programming, and it also can do a lot of complex and on the fly programming. When I say dynamic programming, it basically means simplifying a complex problem by breaking it down into easier sub problems over and over again. Alpha Code Two knows not only when to properly implement this strategy, but where to use it. Because it is huge, because we already know that programming pro problems require dynamic programming are really, really uh, trip up or really an issue or challenge for all the other code generating LLMs. Now, Alpha Code 2 also solves problem by first tapping a family of policy models that generate a number of code samples for each problem, and then code samples that don't fit the problem description are filtered out. And then a clustering algorithm groups semantically similar code samples to avoid any redundancies. Finally, a scoring model within Alpha Code 2 surfaces the best candidate out of each of the biggest code samples clusters, which constitutes Alpha Code 2's answer to the problem. I haven't really got my hands onto it to try it out, but I'm still trying. So as soon as I get access to that alpha code too, I will be making another video to show you a demo as how actually to use it. Should be pretty interesting. So stay tuned. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.